you must forgive for your prayers to work. That's right. Listen to what Jesus says here in Mark chapter 11, verse 22 through 25. Have faith in God, Jesus answered. Truly I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, go, throw yourself into the sea, and does not doubt in their heart, but believes that what they say will happen, it will be done for them. Verse 24, therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. You know, everyone likes to practice, and preachers love to preach on verse 23 and 24. They're exciting verses. Speak to the mountain. Tell it to go. Whatever you ask for in prayer, believe you got it. Believe it's yours, and, and it's going to be yours. But see, Jesus isn't finished talking about prayer and faith and moving mountains. He finishes with verse 25, and many people stop at verse 24, and they don't read verse 25. What does 25 say? And when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them so that your Father in heaven may forgive you your sins. Did you hear this? Why does he connect prayer with forgiveness? It's real simple. God answers your prayer because he's forgiving you of your sins. See, he... Prayer is, answered prayer is grace. God has given us grace. That's why Hebrews 4.12 describes prayer as come to the throne of grace to obtain grace and mercy. See, answer prayer is God saying, I'm not going to withhold my answers because of your sins. He's going to answer your prayers even if you don't deserve it. Even if you deserve this one thing, he's going to give you something better because he's showing you mercy. That's what you're doing when you're asking God for something. You're asking for grace and mercy. So here's what Jesus is showing. That if you're not going to show grace and mercy to others and you're holding their sins, why should the Father in heaven show grace and mercy to you and answer your prayers when you won't forgive other people? See, it's hypocritical to want God to show grace to you, but you don't show grace to others. Who do you need to forgive? Your spouse? How about your ex-spouse? Oh, that hurts, doesn't it? How about parents? Your children? How about your next-door neighbor? How about someone in church you need to forgive? How about your pastor that you need to forgive? How about a family member? Did I mention someone at work? A boss? How about political leaders? <laughs> Come on. Who are you holding against? Who are you holding their sins against? Friend, if you hold their sins against them, then God's going to hold your sins against you. And guess what? Your prayers won't be answered. So for your prayers to be answered, you need to forgive.